Ellie, I, I know I'm the last person you want to hear from, but I felt like I needed to explain myself. I'm not writing to apologize for the things I've done. I know it's too late for that now. I just want you to know everything that has happened and everything that will happen. What are all these? This is what he left me. Are those? What is that? Fuck if I know. Where did he... I don't know, I mean, he used to tell me stories about all the weird places where he'd go, but I don't know where he would have gotten this. It, it's so... Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's a reason why he gave it to me, but... No, I think I'm just gonna put it away. I don't blame you. You know what you need? What? You need a night out of here and away from all this. That'd be nice. Well, you sir, I'm taking you out to dinner. Are you now? Yep, and if you get the nicest thing, you better be putting out. I never gave that statue a second thought. I just tucked it away and figured I'd keep it in our attic when we finally got a real place to live in.
morning something in your mind or my post sleep beauty have you speechless robert hey 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 uh you didn't move my statue out of the closet last night did you you caught me i fucked you unconscious and i grabbed the statue and put it outside your closet for you to find this morning ah uh, wait i can't tell if you're joking or not yes i'm joking i'm not going anywhere near that thing it's creepy. I feel like if I touch it, I might start throwing up pea soup or walk like an evil little crab. Come on. That was a classic movie reference. That thing was seriously outside the closet this morning? Yeah, it was exactly where I put it after I pulled it out of the box last night. You weren't sleepwalking, were you? Come on, I haven't done that since I was a kid. I hear it can come back. I had this friend once who took one of those sleeping pills. Anyway, she woke up hours later, 15 miles in some field. Yeah. What? Yeah, that must be it. It kept happening. Every morning I found it in the living room. Every day it moved closer, like it was coming towards our room. Every day it got heavier, like it was fighting me. This isn't funny. Robert! That's not funny. Putting your awful statue in the doorway. What are you talking about? Look, I get it. You were freaked out when you found it, and you just had to go and do it to me. I'm sorry. I didn't take you seriously. I didn't move it. It's too early. I have to get ready for work, and I just... I don't have time for your stupid games. Don't! I mean, don't. It's heavy and no matter what I said you'd never believe me I never moved it I wouldn't do that I wouldn't want you to suffer the same madness as me a madness that worsened a madness that drove us apart We were growing apart, you told me. Constant accusations of cheating, of some other woman. You don't love me anymore, you argued. How could I have explained? How can you tell someone that some, some thing is driving you crazy? That some, some thing is watching you, possessing you, sabotaging you? 
I couldn't tell you any of this. All I could do was hope that my madness would break. It would all be a dream, that you and I would be happy, and that that horrible thing would be gone. Because you are. You're never around. You're off in space somewhere. You are not here. Where are you? Not here. Well, Curly can't fucking yell that. Because you're never here. God, just I just want to know who she is. I mean, when you're asking this, can you blame me for not wanting to be around anymore? Just tell me who she is. There's no one. Just tell me. Maybe it's some crazy fucked up woman in your head. Just tell me who she is. Nobody. Who is she? No one. Just, just tell me. There's no one. Just tell me. There's nothing to tell you. Just tell me. Please. Just, just tell me. Who is she? Seriously, there's just, no one. Just tell me. Why do you think there's someone else? Just, you're not here anymore. I'm just. You gave me one last chance. One chance to prove that there was no one else. One chance to show that I still loved you and that all of this would end. And I tried so hard to not let you down, to show you how much I cared to show you that I still loved you. That was it. You left. Went home and as far away from me as possible. I can't blame you. I'll never blame you. When you left, it got worse. Like it was waiting for you to go. Like she was waiting for you to go. To have me all to herself. To torture. To drive mad. I swear it moved, like it was mocking me. Was this what drove my grandfather insane? Is this what caused him to lock himself up for so long? If so, why send it to me? Between bouts of insanity, all I could think of was you. How we met. How our first kiss felt. How we laughed. How it all means nothing now. How there's nothing. Nothing but me and that, that thing.
and then it all made sense. My grandfather's divorce, his insanity, his sudden death, all of it. I realized that his fate would be mine, and that that, that thing wasn't sent by him. It must have wanted to get out, to find someone new, to continue on. I wrote so you would know that I loved you. I wrote so that you'd know that I hated everything that happened. I wrote so you would understand. I wrote so you would know what happened to me. Je